Hello, my name is Pete Hughes and I'm a designer here at Sizzix in the UK. And I wanted to introduce you to a brand new collection of mine, which is called Eclectic. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the dies, stamps and other bits and pieces in the collection. First off, we have To The Moon and back. And this is everything that you get in the set. You can see the dies there. In the packaging, they are thin lit dies, they are the wafer thin dies. And let me show you some samples of things that I've made using these dies. These bring to mind kind of that Arabian Nights sort of mystical kind of theme. And this one using just the clouds and the moon. And you'll notice some of the stamps as well. We will should be talking about the stamps as and when. And then finally, this little framed item. Obviously, we've used distress inks just to pick up the colors in the background there. So that is to the moon and back. Now, next up, we have bird cages. There are 18 dies in this set. We get the four cages. We get this wonderful hanging motif, all of the different birds and so on and so forth. This is how the dies come to you. In there, again, the wafer thin dies. And some of the examples we have here, there's a nice simple one just using black card with a lovely ink background. This time we brought in some florals which we shall be seeing in our next set as we will this lovely Ikebana planter with the bird cages coming down the side there. And then finally I've used some some lovely, well it looks like metallic cardstock but it's not, it's actually embossing powder. And that is part of the range and we'll take a look at that in a second. Now, from that, let's get something really simple. Now, the birds come from this set, the branches come from our next set, but I just want to show you, it doesn't have to be super complicated, it can be just a simple silhouette sometimes. And of course, the stamps are part of the collection as well. Now, we mentioned those lovely Ikebana planters, and this is our next set. So there are 16 dies in the range. This is how they are packaged. And you can see we have all the branches, we have the flowers, and we have these lovely, lovely pots. Um, let me show you some of the things that I've made with these. First of all, there's a couple of the little planters. And secondly, just, just a very simple motif with that lovely circle masking out the white there. Then next up we've used the Distress Oxides just to get this faded background with a slight shadow. And finally, one more. So you can really mix up the colours, the styles, the techniques to suit your own making type. Now, when we say eclectic, this is the reason why, because obviously stylistically these are quite different. And this is Flights of Fantasy. Flights of Fancy, I should say. You get two butterflies and two birds. And this is how the set comes to you. So you can see the size there. And let's take a look at some of the samples which we've made. Um, you'll notice all the stamps as well. They will be coming up shortly. But again, I've used that embossing powder there, multi, multi layers of embossing powder to pick it up. And it really looks like, almost like stained glass leading that one. Then next up, another butterfly. This was simply cut from black card and we used clear embossing powder over the top. And then something a bit more color. Again, clear embossing powder. So what I did, I inked the card, die cut the butterfly, clear embossing powder over the top to get that lovely glazed effect. The flowers you will notice are from the Ikebana set. And then we have two featuring the birds and the stamps in the background are from the stamp collection. And again, we've used the embossing powder to get that lovely kind of leaded theme running through that one. Now, next up, we have mixed media motifs. As you can see, there are 10 dies in total. Um, this is the set. This is how it will come to you. You see all the dies in there. And let me just share with you some of the samples I've been making with this. Now, that one is very mixed media, quite monochromatic, using uh, Distress Oxides to get the colors going on in the background. Then this one, again, blends a couple of our lovely embossing powders, more of those in a second. 
Now this one here, again, I've used the frame. Rather than use the frame, what I've done, I've used the bits that were left over. So that, that's that's quite dramatic, depending on which colours you choose, obviously. Uh, the stamp was actually stamped with clear embossing powder, and then I inked over the top so it acted as a resist. Something nice and simple, again, using the stamps, using the embossing powders to get those lovely sparkles. Another one very simple, again, using the stamps. This one, colourful, punchy, simplicity itself. Then we'll have a look at this frame. And remember, remember the frame. Remember earlier we looked at this one? Well, this is the positive. That is the negative. But there's never any waste. So, one more again with that dramatic, monochromatic look. Again, the layering of the different dyes for a faux embossed effect. Then we have this again using the stamps to good effect. And finally, once more, showing the dramatic effects you can get with the clear embossing powder and the metallics. Now, we've talked a lot about the stamps, so let's just put these to one side for a second. And I'll bring out the stamp set, so we're going to have to come out slightly to get a closer look at this one. There are four sets in total. Um, two of which, this this one, it's it's all like make a wish and it's all around stars and themes like that. So perfect for the moon and back set. The others just very positive, cool vibes. Well, they're called, they're called good vibes actually, the set. So there we are. Now, and this one of course is our splats. And you can see I've used it to dramatic effect with different ink colors there. So let's take a look. I'll put this back down and we'll take a look at a few examples just using the stamps by themselves. So it's combining the splats in the background and the sentiment stamps over the top. And you can see I've used primarily distress oxides to get these lovely effects as well. So there we are. And finally the coffee stain, which is one of my personal favorites. And finally, we've used the same stamp to get that wonderful rainbow effect going on there. Now, another thing I've talked about is the embossing powders, and, and here they are. Four different types. We've got the mirror platinum, we've got the gun metal, the kettle copper, and finally the crystal clear, which, as the name suggests, is a clear embossing powder. But it works beautifully as a resist, as you can see here, and it works well when you combine it with these other powders. You get a very different effect when you mix them up together. So you can get an enameled effect with your die cuts, or they're absolutely perfect with the stamping. So one last thing, and if Andy comes out, pans out slightly, so I can show you this. It's probably better this way. This is the the cardstock from the eclectic collection. There are 10 colors and there are six of each in the set. And what I wanted with these, I wanted slightly different from the norm. We, we get the normal greens, we get the normal blues, but I wanted something slightly different. And these fit in perfectly with our six color story. So we do have a pack of 20 colors and these kind of fill the gaps. These are colors that I wanted, that I needed to sort of pad out the, our color story. Uh, it's a gorgeous card. It's kind of a linen pattern there as well on the front, on the back. It's smooth, so you're getting the best of both worlds. Perfect for die cutting, perfect for card making. Now, if you want to know more about this collection or simply about our other fantastic scissor products, then go on to scrapbook.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.